But what has been happening of late in the West and East is that there's been a kind of industrialization of agriculture. In the sense that we don't have, so what I guess that the Calgarian framework for this meant was smallholder agriculture. But now that's been consolidated into a scheme. So two or three percent of American farms are individual only. And it's all controlled by Kraft, Philip Morris, you know, all these things. So do you, where do you see this process going? Will be agriculture as we knew it, you know, free war? Do you think that's over? Do you think agriculture will ever come back to that small movement? <coughs> will we go more towards a industrialized system where, you know, raw materials for the industry is produced wherever the cheapest possible by the same consolidated lines to control both industry as well as agriculture? Do you see us going that way or do you see some stoppage there? And no, I think this industrialization and agriculture is going to be particularly true in the United States. I think in countries like India, you actually have a peasantry. And no matter how much corporate encroachment there may be, you see, unless you can absorb the displaced peasants into the industrial process, which means a huge enough of the reserve army of labor. And this morning we had this paper saying about how employment was not increasing and so on. If you do not have that, then in effect you continue to have a peasantry. Right, but you can impoverish them completely. That's right. By that's absorbing a very small. That's number. exactly. Yeah, yeah. But 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 you don't get rid of the peasantry. And in fact, any effort to actually have corporate displacement of peasantry simply produces even greater social inequality, inequality and in political unrest, and they come to the cities, carry on work in all the rest, informal sector, etc., etc. And even political fallouts in the form of Maharashtra versus Bihar and things of that kind. Of thing. 